What's up guys, it's Awana Turtle, and today we are opening up a box, collection box of Dustmane Necrozma. Uh, we've actually opened one of these boxes previously on this channel, however, I'm a big fan of Dustmane Necrozma. As far as like all the Necrozma stuff, I think uh, he's by far the coolest one. And we also have a epic mail day today. We have a vintage card that we got in the mail very recently. And to give you a hint of what it might be, it's about as, for English cards, as vintage as it can get. And it's PSA graded. So, really excited about that. But first, let's get into this box. Uh, so I do like this collection box because it has a couple promos, has a cool pin, pin I'm starting to warm up to. It has this awesome figure. So there's the, uh, the Crosma figure. I think it looks awesome. Put it here. We got a couple cards. Five packs. As far as like the collection boxes goes, five packs is pretty good. All right, so we can start the video on my phone. And we also get the Jumbo Necrozma card. All right, so. Here's a code card, and for the promos, it comes with a Dawn Wings and Duskmane in the Crosby. Get this cable out of the way. Start with these two cards. All right, let's see what we got for packs. We got a Forbidden Light. Okay, Crimson Invasion, not bad for another Forbidden Light. Uh, not sure what these two guys are doing here, but all good. Let's see. Let's go with Ancient Origins. Card. I'm guessing we have to do three for XY. Alright, so let's see. We got a Sableye, Lysander, Ooh, Vaporeon, pretty cool. Inke, Vaporeon Common, huh. interesting. Ralts, or maybe it was uncommon. Uh, Larvesta, alright, we got a Sceptile Spirit Link for the reverse, and then a Regice Regular Rare. To wrap up that pack. One interesting about the XY series, I think that means that there's no um there are no energy cards in the packs. It's kind of interesting. Actually, like I don't think I would mind that. I guess it's just interesting. It's not a problem, I think. Um, if anyone needs energy cards, that's a very <laughs> I don't think that's a problem. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We have a Star Rabia, Frogadier, Fennekin, Starly, Swinub, Inke, Pancham. It's going for it's like the it's going for that final sprint in a race. All right, we got a Scatterbug, and then a Simseer. All right, so for the XY series packs, we got nothing good. Let's see. Let's do Forbidden Light, then Crimson Invasion, and then Forbidden Light again. Forbidden Light, I feel like, wasn't that big of a set. Didn't... I feel like it didn't hit uh, Didn't have, like... I don't know, didn't make a splash, if you know what I mean. Metal Frying Pan had some, like... I don't know, meme card like that thing. Bonnie, Magneton, Scatterbug again. Gumi, oh, this is set with all the Gumis, too. Um, Flabebe, that's a weird one. Esper... And then a Poiple, and let's see what else we got. A Buzz, oh, okay, this is set with the baby Buzzwalls. Um, so this deck, uh, this card's actually really good. Uh, for the Buzzwall GX combined with the baby Buzzwalls, I feel like it's uh, kind of like a staple in the meta game. Not, not like the top tier anymore, but... They're always, it's always, uh, it's always potential that you'll face that. All right, fighting energy, Haunter. It's a pretty cool art, very creepy. Ugh, hate those cards. Mill tank, Carablast, Swablu. Oh, that's a cute Swablu. I feel like um, this side I didn't open a lot, so I do. I'm seeing like arts I haven't seen in a long time, and I actually really appreciate that. 
All right, and then a Komo. Oh, so man, nothing, no hits whatsoever, and we're already down to our last pack. So, so far this collection box has been quite a dud. If it wasn't for that PSA card, this might be a video that I opt not to upload. All right, there's that last code for you guys, and let's see if we can't get a hit, or we're gonna get completely shut out. Go goat. Bonnie, Noibat, Magnemite, Skrulp, Frufru, <laughs> what is this? Litleo, Claymation, oh, another Frufru, and then fi ooh, okay, we didn't get completely shut out. We have a Zygarde. There's a lot going on. This is a pretty busy card. So we have a Zygarde GX, pretty cool. If you don't know the whole story around Zygarde, there's like a snake. There's like a dog, and then, I don't know, this transformer thing. Does he transform? I'm actually not sure. If you, if you do know, let me know in the comments. Uh, Zygarde was something that happened during my hiatus from Pokemon. Now that I'm back, I haven't taken, was not, I have not taken the time to understand the history of everything. So, quickly for this opening, uh, we have two promos in Duskmane, or Dawnwings, in Duskmane Necrozma. Neither of those are terribly good. However, we did get one GX in Zygarde GX. So, alright, not bad. Okay, so, let's get into this thing. Um, actually, we'll just jump right into it. It's a very, very epic card. Alright, let's see, how should we do this? Let's go like this. So uh, you can already see it. All right, so it is a first edition Blastoise, and then it's PSA 8. So this card, again, this is as about as vintage as it gets for English cards. Um, really happy to have this in my set. Uh, very slowly working on a first edition PSA set. Um, about halfway through, when it, even my Shadowless collection, like none, you know, for base I had a. PSA 9 across the board, Shadowless was all over the place, and then this one is even more so all over the place. And obvious ones like Charizard, Venusaur, Alkazam, those will take a while to acquire. We're talking in the thousands, or at least if you're looking for like 8 or above. Uh, and that Charizard, probably like uh, uh, two or 3000 dollars just for like an 8 or something like that. So we do have the Blastoise though now. Uh, 8, I'm fine with 8, don't need 9 or 10. Uh, so really happy didn't have this one notched off the checklist and yeah, what a what an epic card So this was in case you guys don't know I think I might have gone over this previously, but so this is the very first printing um, Where you have the first edition stamp and the shadowless and then there's an in-between uh, Where it's just shadowless where that first edition stamp's gone But this easiest way to check if it's shadowless is the like on the right side is very light uh, and then the after that the unlimited set um, it was a little bit darker not really sure why that really happened uh, but it kind of like just makes a in between between the first edition and the unlimited printing um, and that's what whatever you hear the word shadowless is so in case you guys didn't already know so there you guys have it for our epic mail day we have a first edition Blastoise PSA 8 which is near mint to mint and yes uh, when when I, if I were to ever complete that first edition set of like I don't know all PSA 8 or something I feel like all right um, all my goals have been completed I can consider my collection complete and just be done um, so there you guys have it a uh, very quick video just a one piece of mail and a pretty quick opening uh, that was pretty lackluster to be honest but um, just want to thank everyone for supporting the channel if you did enjoy the content hit that like button if you're new to the channel please subscribe uh, hit that bell for notifications we do a lot of Pokemon videos Magic the Gathering Yu-Gi-Oh um, and yeah welcome to the community other than that guys I'm Moana Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time peace